Hello everyone, my name is Anders. In this video, I'll show you how to maintain your Strom e-bike in order to ensure a smooth and silent riding experience. Without further ado, let's get started. To prevent and or stop rattling noises, a key element is to tighten all bolts and screws as these can come loose with usage. Therefore, I suggest that you grab the necessary tools which are shown here and follow along to tighten up your e-bike. We are going into a cold period, so if you don't plan on using your bike, then make sure to store it properly. Charge it first, and then put it somewhere dry and warm. And make sure to charge it at least once every month. It's also important to wash the bike sometimes, with a hose, a bucket of water, and a sponge. Just make sure you're not spraying directly into the electric components as the motor, the battery tray, and the display, as this can damage the components. Grab a bucket of soapy water, your favorite chain cleaner, lubricant and old dish brush and something to spray water with. Chain cleaner and lubricant can be found in every bike store. The ones I'm using can be bought from strumbikes.com. I would suggest doing this part outside as this can get quite messy. If you feel like your bike is having issues shifting to the proper gear or skips while in a certain gear, then it's time to make adjustments. The gear changing system 
works by pulling a wire from the gear shifter on the handlebar in small increments. The wire is connected to the derailleur and either increases or decreases tension on the spring, which moves the chain from one sprocket to another for each click. There is a high and a low limiter to stop the derailleur from going too far inwards or outwards on the sprockets. These can be adjusted by the two limit screws placed here. The first thing to ensure is that the sprocket on the most used gear is in good condition. Simply shift to a lower gear and visually inspect the smallest sprocket and make sure the teeth are sharp and not rounded, which can happen from long time usage. Let's get started. Let's get started. To adjust the middle gear, use the barrel adjuster by turning it in either direction until the derailleur produces no sound in the selected gear. The low limit screw is for adjusting the lowest gear. It makes sure that the chain isn't jumping into the sprockets and is placed on the left of the derailleur arm. To adjust this, go to the first gear and turn the low limit screw until all noises are gone. Then have a look from behind the wheel and make sure it's perfectly aligned with the derailleur as shown before. If you're not able to go to the selected gear by turning the barrel adjuster, then go and watch this other video for more information. The high limit screw on the other hand is for adjusting the highest gear, therefore the seventh. Go to the seventh gear and remove all noises by turning the high limit screw until all noises are gone. Then have a look from the rear of the bike and make sure it's perfectly aligned with the derailleur as shown before. This video will have its starting point in hydraulic brakes, which all of your bikes might not be equipped with. For those of you who have a mechanical brake, please watch this other video as this will be dedicated to you. If you are uncertain on which brake you have, make sure they look like this for this video. Take a standard credit card and make sure that there is more braking compound than the thickness of the card. If the brake pads need to be changed, then go ahead and buy them from your local bike store or from our website. They can be found online as well by searching Tektro A30 pads. When inserting a new pair of brake pads, you'll need to reset the brake by stuffing a wide flat screwdriver between the calibers and jiggling them apart by turning the screwdriver. When this is done, you should be able to replace the old ones with a pair of new ones. If you are having issues with the reset of the brake, then watch this other video for further assistance. In most cases, it's enough to cramp the brake while tightening the two bolts. If this is not enough, look through the caliber as shown here and adjust the brake until there is air on both sides of the disc. This can be hard to see for yourself, so ask one of your friends or family to make them shine a light from the other side and adjust according to what you see.
thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe to get the latest news and videos from us here at Strum.